everyone welcome back to my channel today i am making a little video of all my extra fine fountain pens i did include the pilot mr metropolitan and they are not made uh in extra fine they're only fine however they do feel like extra fine to me so i figured they had a place in this video so hopefully you're not too offended by this mix up so the first one i'm going to show you is the kaweco brass sport this is definitely an amazing fountain pen um, it writes um, very very fine and it it just is a heavy fountain pen too so i very much recommend it so i'm going to show you a little pen test excuse the poor handwriting um, so, like I said, this one is really extra fine. It does feel sometimes a little scratchy, but not in a bad way. I don't have, it's not obnoxiously scratchy, and um, I love this fountain pen, and I've used it a lot, and it's still beautiful. The next one is actually another Kaweco, is the Frosted Sport, and similarly as the brass port i think it writes really really um nice it is not as scratchy as the brass and perhaps i don't know it looks as thin it just feels a little more flowy and that's one of the things with the cowboy because i have to say they're not always super consistent like i have another one but i couldn't i think it's in one of my boxes so i didn't use it for this video but it it is um, it feels a little bit thicker, that one. The next one is the Pilot MR Metropolitan, and I'm going to use both of them. Part of the reasons I'm using some that are similar or that are exactly the same is because sometimes you see differences. So those don't come in extra fine, if I'm not mistaken. They're both fine, but as you'll see, they do feel, um, they do feel like they are extra fine. I mean, look at this. It's super... And, and I love these pens. Um, I've had some issues with this one, and I think it's because I had inked it with some glittery ink, and it kind of um, clogged it a little bit, so I actually rinsed it out, and now I just stick to regular ink. And I have the black one too, and you see they're very consistent. I assume that the Pilot uh, Vanishing Point is um, amazingly fine, because these are fine and you can get it in extra fine and also very consistent across the board on what you're getting. Um, this one is the one I use on my Hobonichi Weeks, and I love them, and they click very nicely too. Now the next few ones, oh no, I think the next one is one that I just got on Amazon. So this pen is like $19, and it felt so luxurious. It's it's almost as heavy as the Kaweco Brass. It's called the Hongdian 6013 Matte Black. You turn it around, it's very, very um, luxurious feel, and I love like how the actual nib is also kind of dark, and I'll show you a pen test, but I'm, I was pretty impressed with it, honestly. I've never quite dabbled in those um, other brands that are not as known. See, it's pretty thin. It's not scratchy. It felt really flowy. And yeah. But if you look across the board, I think the thinnest one are the Pilot Metropolitan. And again, they're not extra fine. They're fine. But then, I, if I'm not mistaken, Japanese fountain pens are usually um, thinner across the board. And then we go to the Twisbees. The first one is the Twisby Diamond Mini Clear. I love this one. I always have the glittery um, ink in it and it is extra fine, but these feel more um, flowy in the ink. Like it just, they're not scratchy at all and it just flows so well. I just love the Twisby because you can see the ink. There's something kind of romantic about the idea of having a fountain pen where you see the ink it feels like vintage right away I'm going back up to show you again the kawaikos are really nice too those are kind of my favorites i have other ones that i don't use those are the ones that are always on my desk this one is the twisby swipe i believe in smoke and I, this one is probably it feels really really fine it almost feels finer than the other ones 
but they all all the twisbees write really beautifully and i highly recommend those also if you want to play with putting um ink it's it's so much easier <laughs> Then the next one is the Twisby Echo, clear. I have lavender black in there. Yeah, this one just snaps in, I don't know. I sometimes mistake them uh, with the Twisby Diamond Mini. That one you kind of have to stick in there. I love, this pen is one of my favorites. Um, the Twisby Echo is just fantastic. And then the next one is the Twisby Go in smoke as well. And those are more plasticky, the body. Um, but this one writes really, really beautifully. I do have a hard time filling the ink on this one. It looks like it would be the easiest one because you just press down and press back up, but no. Um, so I had to cut the video because I didn't have ink. And this one is actually, I take back what I said before, the thinnest of the Twisby, in my opinion, the scratchiest too. So hopefully this helped you um, if you're looking into extra fine fountain pens and there's so much out there, it's kind of hard uh, to figure it out. I did leave um, in the description, there's a link to my Amazon store and there a lot of the fountain pens are there for you if you want to check them out and check the prices and everything. Otherwise, you can also find them for the most part on jet pens or Yoseka stationery. Um, thanks for watching if you're still here and please like and subscribe. Bye.